Hi guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Sardine and Bait Clinic. Sardines are now coming out on our uh, beaches. I'm going to show you how to rig a dead sardine for catching Garrick. Very simply, what we require for it, um, Maxima 21 kilo, some Kingfisher heavy or thick latex cotton, braid scissors of course, our power swivel, uh, our power swivel, our barrel swivel, size 4, and some Sui 7.0s, 6.0s, depending on the size of the bait that you're going to be using. Okay, here we go. Take a hook, cut a piece of nylon, the length that you'd normally throw, maybe 80 centimeters in length. Uh, grab one of my barrel swivels out. Okay, so we take some 27 kilo Maxima. It's thicker nylon. Of course, this time of the year, when the bigger fish are around, the bigger garrick are around, we need thicker line. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is take my sui and I'm going to make a figure of eight. And what we do to make a figure of eight is we just take the line and wrap it around three times. One, two, three times. I then take this tag end and slide it behind the back to form a figure of eight. There we go. Slide it down, but not all the way down. I then take this tag end again and I slide it in behind the R of the hook. Okay. Pull tight, like so. So that's basically what you see that I've got. Then I'm gonna cut the back part. So now I've formed a wishbone. And I'm just gonna trim it off. So all I've done is stuck a piece of nylon behind the actual figure of eight. That's all I've done. It forms a wishbone. I then take my swivel. like so now very important to measure the size of the sardines that you're getting so let me grab my sardine so there we go guys there's my lovely sardine that i've got i'm using to measure the distance i want that to go through the gill plate like so and i want that swivel to sit about there in my trace Okay, so that's the distance that I want it to be. So just cross my fingers over like that. I'm gonna form a figure of eight now. One, two, three times. There we go. Open up my figure of eight. Cut off the tag end of the 27 kilo maxima. And the reason we use the 27 kilo is this is the part that's gonna be fraying in the Garrick's mouth. The 21, is a lot lighter, it moves easier in the water, it's a lot thinner, less obtrusive so the fish don't see it. Again, figure of eight on the other side. Slide down, pull tight. Okay, so that's basically the trace and I'll just measure it up against the actual thing. It doesn't have to be 100%, as long as that swivel sits there, you can have a little bit of loose nylon in it, it's not a bad thing. Okay, to rig it up, all I'm going to do is take my fresh sardine, go in just before the gill line. You see the gills are over here? I'm gonna look. Okay. You can see the gills are over here. I'm going to go in just before it and quite deep. And then come through that gill plate. There we go. And then I'm going to slide this down to where it gets to that swivel T. You see that, guys? Look at that. So basically, I've slid it all the way down. So now that wishbone stops the hook from twisting. That's why we put that little wishbone in there. Stops the hook from actually twisting to the side. Now, you can either do one of two things. You can either use a cable tie, push it through there and pull it tight. 
over there. You just pull a cable tie and you can pull it tight. Or you can use the thick latex cotton, the Kingfisher thick latex cotton. And I'll just use the thick latex cotton because I enjoy it. It's a lot less obtrusive on your actual bait. And all I'm going to do is just make sure that my swivel is sitting where I want it to be. And I'm going to wrap it. So there we go. And don't be afraid to put a lot of latex cotton on it, guys. And work your way all the way up to the end of the tail. Pull tight. Pull that loose piece off. And there we go. There is your dead sardine ready for you to throw. Like I said, you can either cable tie it, which is quicker, or you can use the latex cotton, which I enjoy because you don't see it so easily. And there's your dead bait ready for throwing. You can, however, as well, insert through the mouth some uh, polystyrene flotation just to float up your sardine a bit more. That's just a little tip for you guys. Okay, guys, so there it is ready for throwing. And just to give you an idea, this is how hard it takes if you, and I'm going to pull on this, which I shouldn't. When it comes to actually throwing, this is so hard to come off. Oh, I'm squeezing the stomach out of it. There we go. So you can throw quite hard with that trace there. There we go, guys. Go out there, throw dead baits. Garrick, love it. Absolutely love it.